got actually uh, the spiritual boxer. And I'm down here in the best Liam Boxing Club. So you're a Declan and Alfie's in. I don't know what's going to happen because I'm having problems with the camera. I don't know if it's the SIM card or what. But we're going to be working. It's like been talking to me about the mental strength and flexibility and how to pull off shots. Anyway, I don't think it works. Yeah, and if you like the vibe, please subscribe. And if you think it's a bit, just share it with somebody. I just want to teach boxing. I want boxing to become what I know it is non rubber sport. Anyway, we'll see what to get with the Bethlehem, we were in the ring sparring so couldn't really do much so I did a few bits of pad work and Theo's asking me how can he turn his jab which is a good jab into a great jab and like I say it's just practice practice working on what you're doing getting it faster, getting it straight, getting it harder giving less of um, a tell because I had Alfie on the back and every time he threw his jab he dropped his and a bit, turn the shoulder and through the jab, drop his antenna. But what he was doing that, not, that's how it looked like to me. One drop, pump. Wow. So I said, let's see if 
we can speed, work on speed our movements so we can hit it. So every time he did it, showed him it. Now he knows it when he's on the mirror or he's in, he'll feel it. And if he feels it, then he'll stop doing it. So he's got to create. So there's no tells, you're not telegraphing it. You're just popping it straight out before the know we him in the face. And just to get out as fast as you can. Basically, make the target accurate. And then this timing. You time the jab as they're coming and just pop them. And just a little step back. Pop them. Little step back. Timing. That's, that's the key to most, the, most of the things in, in boxing, especially the jab. It's the timing of the jab. You know, getting the distance, I like getting the distance, the range of the jab, and then timing the jab as they come in, you know exactly where they're in range of your jab. And as soon as they step into that range, you just pop it out. You know, range finding is it's a nice thing. But boxing is a nice thing when it's done properly. And that's what I like to teach. I like to teach what I perceive, my perception of the art of boxing, which is to hit and not get hit and do it gracefully you know, so it looks nice it's more like a ballet like a dance a bit like quapo or or whatever it looks nice you've got all that flow there's no jiggy 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 just nice flow boom slip roll counter come back boom 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 block paris and it's like the things about boxing that i understand that i know is you pick up information from everywhere. I remember having a chat with a former British champion and it kind of like it messed me head up a little bit. He says that um, Bob Hodges AF asked me about, he said I've seen the fight with Jose Burton. He said, no, I've seen it. He said, what happened? He said, he got put down in the first and he went back to his corner and his corner told him he has to push the fight because he's lost the first round and got put down. You're in a 12 round fight, there's no rush. Pick him up and catch him. So I asked him what does he do, what's his best? And his best is counter punching. So I said, so why don't you just wait, get into your game and counter punch? He says, well, he's a counter punch and he's been a boring fight. What would I have done? And I said, I'd have waited and waited. Then I'd have started to feign, draw his leads and then counter. And then if he picks up on that, then we're feigning, feigning, counting feints, doing different Sorry, things. Bro. But it's alright man, go there, yeah. yeah. So it's feigning, feigning, and I said to him, why do come and see me? And the next thing I see him taking, being taken on the pads by the guy who's never boxed before. So he's gone back to the corner with some people who've had some great champions, and his corner's told him to go and push a fight. To box the way he's not used to boxing on the front foot. I just find that kind of like weird. And why are you chasing? You've lost a round. There's 12 rounds in a fight. So you've got 11 rounds. Why are you rushing somewhere? You know when you can lose the first two, three, four rounds? You can leave you lose 11 rounds and catch him in the 12th. You know what I mean? There's no rush. That's what the game is. Patient, take your time. We've configured. But people who've never been in the ring ain't got a fucking clue. You know what I mean? Oh, you gotta push it, you gotta get in, you gotta get forward. And it's like these people who box, every time they lost the fight, it's because they won't feel enough, they didn't do enough work. Instead of having that brain sense and say, well, I didn't have the tools to do the job. Because I don't care how fit you are, there's some fights you're gonna lose because you haven't got the skills. Simple. You can come in as fit as anything, but if you haven't got the skills, you're gonna lose. So when you go back to the gym, don't work on on your fitness, work on your skills. And that's what people don't get. I don't work on fitness, I work on skills. That's where my forte is is the technical and the skill side of it. That's why Fios come on so fast. Because he takes care of his own fitness. You know what I mean? I'm not screaming and shouting him to do his groundwork, to do his stretches. We are aware of having conversations. It's like me and Bob. When I spent my time with Bob, we was talking about boxing, we was talking about strategies, we were talking about how the body moves, how to get the flow, how to get the power in the shots by leverage. 
how to move, how to be. Yeah, yeah. And it's not about, oh, you only done nine, ten, another press up, another sit up, another this, another that. No, I'm not screaming and shouting at you. You know, if you want to learn to box, I'll teach you. But the fitness side of it, go somewhere else because that's just wasting my time on your fitness. You know what I mean? Where I'm best suited is on the technical side of it, the mental side of it. So, like, if you want, come and book a session. You know, have a chat with me for an hour, go for a walk and a talk. Come down, you learn so much just by having a little conversation. But you've got to ask me the questions. Like I say, Theo asks the right questions. And then I can explain it to you. Because I don't know your level of knowledge. It's like, it broke last time the camera. And I was talk, going to talk about Bob, so I'm going to do like a session just talking about Bob and how Bob talked and how we worked together. And it's like one of the best, for me, one of the best trainers in, in the business. His knowledge on boxing far, far superior to anybody else's in England. And people around who knew him at the time will tell you so. His knowledge of them boxing was just whoa, different level. And I spent seven, eight years with him, learning. And I, get, I got an insight into how to train. So anyway, if you like the vibe, please subscribe. If you want me to do a one-on-one, -on -one, I can come and do a talk, whatever. Then that'd be great, get in touch. I'll leave my email address below. Theo Declan's Boxing on the 27th of May at the Aurora Suite. If you want some tickets, get in touch again with us. Because you know what we're more than one ticket sellers. So I'm going to make him a ticket seller. Anyway, till next time. Yeah. Uh,